Trolls 2 The World Tour is the new DreamWorks movie and released in April 2020 and is directed by Rumble Stilskin, aka Walt Dorn. First off, I know the lighting may seem a bit weird on my face. My actual lamp, uh, its bulb is broke, but let's go on, and that should be fixed soon. But let's go on to Trolls 2. Trolls 2, I had low expectations going into this. I thought it was going to be crap. Yeah, the trailers didn't like the trailers. I just thought it was just going to be just as bad as the first one, if not even as bad as Shrek the Third. Okay, well, maybe not that bad, but. I wasn't excited for it. Especially since they had two great movies. They did How to Train a Dragon 3, The Hidden World, my favourite film of all time. And Abominable, a movie I absolutely loved and actually grows on me the more I watch it. I mean, even considering changing my rating. After these two movies, this film is a step down. Well, it is. But, after watching it, I'm gonna say this. It's fine. It's just, it's absolutely average. Yes, it's average it's mediocre it's not great it's not horrible it's average let's get into the plot basically there's this queen barb this rock type of troll and she wants music to be the only music to be rock and she wants that to be the only music alive and the poppy branch must team up to save the day and yeah that's the story it's a difficult story. This film is just... It's just nothing. It's absolutely nothing. The story is just boring. It is just painfully boring. It's just so boring. I... Maybe not boring to some people, but like, I did not give a crap what was going on. This movie is so dull, so bland, and just not interesting at all. The use of pop songs are beyond annoying, especially in the beginning. It just, it's so cringy. It's even as annoying as the Frozen songs. It is annoying and it just makes you want to say, shut up. Some songs, however, are actually not bad. In fact, some of the songs are actually pretty good. Um, but my god, the song at the end really is just so long. It's a good song, I guess, but it just drags and drags. The animation, I will give the movie this. The animation is gorgeous. DreamWorks really do put a lot of effort into their animations. Well, for the most part. This movie just looks so stunning, vibrant. The colours are just vibrant. They're beautiful to look at. And it makes me feel like DreamWorks spent a lot of time making good visuals instead of working on a good story. Well, to be fair, I didn't expect the Trolls movie to be good in the first place. Well, I had hope for the first one back in 2016, but that was because I had some decency of hope. But then to begin, I think that movie's just bad. Um, it's just, the animation's good, I will give it that. It is, it reminds me, some, this beginning will remind me of Hidden World, like the colours and all that, just the colours are very similar. Uh, the soundtrack is just, it's just, bl it's fine. Some songs are good, but most of it is just annoying. The characters, I didn't care. Poppy, I find really, really annoying. Branch is just honestly forgotten about him this film is just very forgettable he's all right he doesn't really i don't really feel they change much about him from the original well i haven't seen the original since 2016 so i'd have to rewatch that but i didn't rewatch that to prepare for this because well i didn't like it but maybe someday i'll give it a second chance the supporting characters are wasted they i completely forgot they were there they were a big part of the original but they do nothing here the other type of trolls the other musics they're just, they only have one scene, really, and it makes me just kind of, it makes them kind of feel wasted, and I feel the trailers gave a lot of that away. The villain Queen Barb, I feel like she was good on paper. I think she's executed really poorly. She's just, she's very generic, but I will give the movie credit. The movie's humor is actually very funny. Now, not all the jokes land. It's only a few jokes that land, but half of the jokes are actually really funny and you know it's actually kind of chuckle worthy to watch some of the there's a subplot with a character i won't spoil but it's actually the best thing about the movie and the humor is not horrible but it's actually some of it is funny some of the jokes were bad some of them just fell flat but some of them were just you know actually made me laugh and chuckle so yeah i'm gonna say this this movie is just average uh i really i just didn't care about trolls too I don't like the first one, but 
this film, after seeing it get like slightly positive reviews, as a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes, actually I think got a four star review on RTE.ie, and I got a little bit of hope it could be all right, and that's what the movie is. It's painfully average. It's actually just painfully average. It is just, it's just, ugh, it's just bland. It's just nothing. I mean, I don't have enough to say about. It. I wanted to review it because I love DreamWorks. I, you know, I I stopped doing every animated movie of the year because a lot of the animation movies just look so kiddy for me. I'm sorry, but I didn't like this film. I just I just didn't care. I I don't know even. I'm just wasting my time talking about. It. But it's average. Um, and I think. You know, after a year where DreamWorks did two great movies, it's not great. But I do have hope. Trolls, I mean, not Trolls 2, sorry. Croods 2 is coming out in December. Well, it's coming out January 29th, 2021 in Ireland. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I like the first one. I might even re-review it. But you know what? I'm excited for that. So yeah, I, if you want to get, I'd say, yeah, this movie is just meh. It's average. It's just mediocre and for that i give the movie a five out of ten it's just it's not interesting it's just bland so there you have it those are my thoughts on trolls 2 and uh yeah see you guys next time and uh skadoosh